I mean, what kind of train is this? Every fucking time, dude. Jet motherfucking day. doing today I hope you're doing well please find me on any of these social media platforms and follow me there also I would like to call attention to my shirt it says vote because me too and it is by state the vote Dot com. Today I want to talk about something and believe it or not it is not about me but I have experienced it and so I will kind of switch back and forth talking about myself and then talking about other things that I'm seeing. It's probably going to sound negative to a lot of people and I'm really sorry about that but I have experience with this and I know what I'm talking about so let's just jump right into it. If you are in a relationship with someone who cheated on someone else to be with you, they are going to cheat on you. I am willing to swear on a stack of Bibles that they will cheat on you. I am willing to place a monetary wager that they will cheat on you. How do I know this? Because unfortunately, my second marriage was a result of an affair. Now, I know a lot of people won't like this. I've already talked about this in another video, but I really didn't go into depth. But I'm just in my feelings this morning because of stuff I'm seeing online. So I'm just going to talk about it. <sighs> when I say that I understand why people have affairs, I understand why I did because I was in a shitty marriage. Now, I was just recently separated from my first husband when I started my relationship with my second husband. I understand how it happens because my second husband came in like a white knight on a steed, like he was going to fix all my problems. He was overly kind. He was caring. He was anything I needed him to do, he would do it. He listened to everything I had to say. He was very attentive to me and I had basically been abused in my first marriage. Um, you know, my first husband raped me. I don't know how much worse you can get than that. So I understand why some people end up having an affair. I've seen movies about people who ended up having affairs and it happens on TV shows and you don't really blame that person because you see the shit that they're putting up with in their other relationship. It happens. I understand that. Even that movie that everyone loves, The Notebook. You know, Rachel McAdams, I think is her name. She was married to somebody else and she had an affair with Ryan Gosling because they were meant to be together. I understand it. So I don't want, really, I don't want people to take from this video that they need to beat themselves up if they have had an affair or if they have cheated on someone that they were in a relationship with. But I am here to tell you that nine times out of 10, if you cheated on someone with someone else, if you, the relationship that you are in resulted from cheating, that person is going to cheat on you. I am willing to bet money. I just said I would place a monetary wager, but you know, not this is not going to happen in every circumstance because there are circumstances that I have seen people have affairs and they're together for 20, 30, 40, 50 years and it works out. I'm just saying nine times out of 10, if they cheated with you, they will cheat on you. Example, my ex-husband, my second ex-husband, that was a result of an affair. Then he turned around and he cheated on me several times during our marriage. And even when we decided we were going to split amicably, after my divorce, I found out that he had been having an on and off again affair. He can't help himself. He cannot be faithful. So I see, you know, pictures of them smiling together, him and his new wife. And I'm just like, that's adorable. But you should be keeping a check on his phone. You should be keeping a check on who he's talking to. You better be watching out. And see, I can't live like that. And I did it for a while. But I just can't do it. If you can't trust the person that you're in a relationship with, I mean, if they at any time cannot hand you their phone and let you look through it as much as you want to, then something's up. And if you even feel like you have to do that, then you shouldn't be with that person. And I know probably a lot of people won't like this and the stuff that I'm saying, but I'm just going off of what I have experienced and what I have seen just sitting back and watching. I think people jump into relationships too quick. I think people are willing to overlook so many things when, when they like someone. Who cares if he did such and such to so-and-so? He's not going to do that to me. 
if someone shows you who they are believe them the first time i've already done a video about this and i just felt really strongly to address that this morning if someone shows you who they are believe them the first time why are you wasting time with someone that you know is not a good person and i've said this before maybe they're a good person for somebody else maybe they would be a good person in another relationship but everybody has their own makeup everybody has their own personality and you're not going to click with everybody and so i would really just much rather be alone than to be in a relationship with someone that i really know that i can't trust and how do i know that i can't trust them because i sat and listened to everything that he said to his ex-wife lying so that he could be with me so then when he would turn around and lie to me i was like bitch i've already heard you say that shit before so how are you gonna sit here and try to say that it's different with me just because you love me more than you love her it makes no fucking sense and you know people you really need to use your brain if something doesn't make sense then it fucking doesn't make sense stop trying to make sense out of shit that does not make sense stop trying to stupefy yourself just so that you can stay in a relationship with somebody just so oh you, other people can't be right you know because people will tell you oh you shouldn't be with that person and you don't want to let them be right that was one of my biggest things i stayed with my husband way too long because i didn't want other people to be able to say see see he did the same thing to her that he did to his ex-wife before her see and I, I went years not wanting to give up because I didn't want to give people that satisfaction but you know what my life is worth a whole lot more than to be in an unhappy relationship just so other people can't say shit about me because I really don't give a flying fuck what you say about me anyway because unless you are feeding me fucking me or paying my bills I don't give a flying fuck what you got to say about what goes on in my life stop worrying about what other people think stop worrying about what other people say because as long as you worry about what other people say and think about you you will always be their prisoner you will always be in a cage that they created for you because you are so worried about what they say about you or what they think about you that's no way to live so if you have started a relationship and you have started that relationship based off of cheating or an affair, I am here to tell you nine times out of ten, it's not going to work out. So if there's any way you can stop it now, just go ahead and stop it. They've already shown you who they are. There's no reason for you not to believe them. And for the very small percentage of couples who this is not true for, then if you know that it's not true for you, that's fine. Don't leave a lot of shit in my comments because first of all, I'm not going to read it. Second of all, I just said not all relationships are going to fall into this little box that I just made. But I'm telling you, the majority that I have seen, this is what happens. People who cheat on other people are never satisfied. The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. And the minute that you do something that they don't like, or the minute that you don't do something that they like, they're going to start looking around. The minute that that fantasy bubble that they created with you gets popped, they're going to start looking around. I, I cannot tell you this enough. So that's just my advice. You don't have to take it. But I felt really strongly this morning. I cannot even recall what made me want to talk about this. I don't know if it was something I saw on Facebook. I don't know. But just take my advice, guys. Save yourself from a really shitty situation that is bound to happen if you start a relationship based off of cheating. That was my video today. I hope you liked it. If you have any comments or you have any experience with this, you can leave it in comments below. If you leave shitty comments, I can usually tell by the first sentence that it's a shitty comment and I'm not going to read it. I'll probably block you. I have enough shit going on in my life. I, I've been really stressed out lately and just like clawing and holding on and for dear life trying to get my shit together. So the last thing I need is some anonymous person on the internet being mean to me for simply stating my opinion. So that's it. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you have, thank you so much. Please remember to click the little bell icon down below so it will tell you every time I do a new video. I do videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays. I also put a vlog up on this channel on Fridays. So come back and see me next time. I hope you have a great day. I love you. Bye! So you know how when you get mad at your boyfriend and you can say, oh, well, then you just leave. I'm not going to see you for a few weeks. You can't really do that when you're married. It doesn't really work that way.